This plastic part here requires more resolution. Therefore, I switched the measuring volume out to the 350 millimeter field of view. To make scanning even easier, I've set up the part on the GOM ROT 350 automated turntable. The GOM ROT 350 is controlled in the GOM software. So we can select eight measurements here and start the scanning process. As we scan the part, you can see the data being built up on the screen as we go. You can see here just how fast and easy it is to scan with the ATOS Q in this configuration. The blue light that you see projected on the part comes from a very sophisticated light source. This projection technique was developed by GOM to produce a very low noise data. Now that we've finished measuring the top side of the part, we need to flip the part over in order to capture the bottom side. Here's our scan result. We now have a high detailed mesh which is describing all features of the part. Since we scanned both sides, we have the complete digital twin, which we can join with its CAD file to start the evaluation. The first step is the alignment of the part to the CAD model. Both overall alignments and local alignments are possible inside GOM Inspect. Again, since we scanned the part from both sides, we can now analyze the thickness of the part and verify if the thinner areas are to specifications. The design of this part requires for a lot of GD&T style inspections. These are calculated on the scan data, describing the part in great detail and offer a very accurate and realistic evaluation. Reporting of the full analysis is done in the reporting space. Even from a black part like this one, you can see how clean the results are. Remember that GOM Inspect is available free of charge and can be used to share all the data in a way as you see it here on the screen.